In this episode, we take a look at more update 8 changes, focus on completing phase 4, talk about the upcoming project, and much more. Yo! Hello everyone! Welcome back to Prone to Play, a my Let's Play series of Satisfactory. In the last episode we set up the production of all missing project parts, some fully automated, some in a temporary setup, and the scope for today is that we finish project phase 4 and have launched a total of 10,000 project parts via the space elevator into outer space together. But first of all, thanks to everyone who joined our first stream ever and participated on our world exploration tour. Last Saturday we explored the whole world map and all changes, overhauls and new things that got added in Update 8, and I had a blast interacting and exploring together with you and your input and help throughout the tour. Shout out especially to Hit the Box, Shane, Bobo, Can't Get Right, Bernie Boy, Night Night, Gulgir, but also everybody who was just watching in silence and I therefore did not see the name. Thank you very much, really. If you're interested in what happened, you can re-watch the VODs on my channel to see the army of radiated hawks in the Titan Forest, for example, a spider train going round and round for some reason, and many more highlights. Of course, this was not only an exploration for the sake of enjoying the flora and fauna, but we also had a big hard drive hunt going on and tried to collect every single hard drive in the game, as well as getting our hands on some slugs. As of update 7, which is currently the state of early access, there are a total of 97 hard drives all across the map, with 4 being tied to seasonal events. The repair costs cannot be crafted during the normal gameplay. Also subtracting some hard drives that we already collected at earlier stages of update 7, there was an estimated amount of 85 hard drives to collect. And at the end of the day, the counter stood on 78 recovered hard drives and while this is a good amount, we just could not get our hands on the last ones. After wrapping up the exploration tour, I noticed that on Satisfactory Calculator there is already an interactive world map for the update 8 state of the game. So after only being able to fight one more crash site on my own, I decided to upload my save file on Satisfactory Calculator and check which hard drives we collected in total and more importantly where to find the missing ones. And the result was very surprising to me. According to Satisfactory Calculator, there is now a total of 109 hard drives spread all over the Satisfactory world. And counting all recoveries from the whole Let's Play series, we collected a total of 99 of them, with only 10 remaining. So after collecting the missing hard drive on the Spire Coast that I was able to locate on my own, I also went out and picked up the remaining hard drives, one at the Lake Forest, one in the Red Jungle and one in the Western Oasis right next to the Dune Desert. This leaves us with only 6 remaining hard drives on the map overall, 4 of them still being bound to events, so just 2 more that we should be able to collect. However, here is where the struggle really starts. I was not able to locate the second hard drive that is still shown as available in the Spire Coast at Satisfactory Calculator no matter how long I searched. I then went to the Abyss Cliffs once more, despite already experiencing multiple crashes during our world exploration tour. And the results unfortunately remained the same. But wait, there's more. If you go further down the Abyss Cliffs, there is an additional crash site with a drop pod just nearby. The weird thing is that it does not get listed in Sector's Factory Calculator, and if you try to open it, the game crashes again. We also learned that the hard way on our exploration. It seems like this one is not even meant to be in the game. There is already a thread in the Q&A where you can report found bugs and issues in the game, so Coffee Stain Studios is already aware of that, but until further notice you definitely should stay away from these two drop pods over there. But despite all that, according to the save file data, we now have a total of 99 hard drives available in the current state of the game which is 6 more than before. I don't know if there are any new alternate recipes in the game right now, because at this very moment of recording I'm still researching all the collected hard drives, since each hard drive takes 10 minutes of research, 
This will take a few more hours. But I can't say I have noticed any new recipes. This would mean that we would have an excess of 10 hard drives after unlocking all available alternate recipes. We will definitely find out if that's the case later in the video. My guess at this point is that either due to old crash sites there is an excess of available hard drives right now or Coffee Stain Studios is planning on adding some more alternate recipes in the future. But maybe it's something else as well. If you have an idea or know something that I missed let me know in the comments. I am really interested in your input. But now let's take a look on the number of project parts that we accumulated. Not only got a decent amount of parts produced while we were exploring, but we are already back for a while now, so I just brought all parts together once more. As already known, the thermal propulsion rockets are already taken care of, so this one is ticked off the to-do. We also produced almost all the magnetic field generators necessary, but the manufacturer went idle because it was just a bit short of control rods, so I will take care of this in a minute. And then we have done this as well. The nuclear pasta is also looking good. Although there are still over 200 missing, we do need multiple hours of research time for the hard drives anyways. And by the time this is done, that pasta will be long cooked. So no worries at all here. The pain point is once again the assembly director system. We are currently sitting on 1520 parts, which is not even half the amount that we need. Luckily we got our hands on the alternate recipe of automated wiring already, which takes status, wire and high speed connectors and has triple the output speed. So in order to boost the progress for the director systems, I will do some manual maintenance in our project part room for that. But since this is not too exciting, I will do this in the background, just so you know. Alright, setup in the project part room is done. Let me just show you really quick what I did so that you know what's happening here for many many hours because this will take so much time. <laughs> here we have a fully overclocked alternate recipe for the automated wiring with status, wire and high speed connectors. And in our steel factory I also stopped the production of our motors so that we have more overflow of status and I can restock these containers more often. So every time I'm here, I'm checking if everything still has enough parts and restocking if necessary. The automated wiring then gets directly fed into the second manufacturer together with computers, circuit boards and heavy modular frames, which we have more than enough from each and this is getting converted into adaptive control units. And every once in a while I'll take these and go to our assembler. These supercomputers I have taken from our manufacturing room where we have all the 4000 stored initially in order to make assembly director systems out of these. And by the way, I noticed another graphical bug. This container is completely empty and there's only around, yeah, there's 14 adaptive control units left. So here on this belt, there are no adaptive control units, but it's still showing and I have no idea why. I'm just guessing it's because of experimental mode. But now you can see, once I'm feeding the adaptive control units in here, now it's disappearing. I guess if you are not present in a room, this graphic bug appears. But yeah, here we are producing more assembly director systems in addition to our manufacturing room. And I was able to change this setting because the magnetic field generators are now completely finished. So let's head to our central storage once more. And as you can see, the second project part is taken care of. So let's take this off as well. And I've been to the particle accelerator once more. And we are almost done. We are getting closer and closer. We are now sitting at, I think it was, yeah, 887. So only a little bit more than 100 left. And here we can add the assembly director systems. And we are sitting on 1698. So still more than half missing, but at least some progress. Alright, we are down to our last 
30 hard drive, including the one that is currently getting researched. And I'm spending the waiting time with basically finishing finally the central storage, the backside at least, and experimenting a little bit with lighting, reflections and the effects of lumen in general. And in my opinion, billboards and display signs are currently way better the, uh, for inside lightning than normal lightings are, for example lamps or wall mounted floodlights. The best example is the manufacturing room. In the last episode I tried to set up some lightings on this wall in order to illuminate the room, which didn't go really well. But now on each side there is a little or there is a large billboard. I really like the effect this has on the room regarding illumination and the reflections. This has a way better impact on lighting up the whole room in comparison to any other lighting. The normal wall mounted floodlight only illuminated really the part that it shined on. Over there there was a really bright spot, but the billboards really illuminate the complete room. So in the future I think we will definitely work heavily with billboards and signs, at least inside completely enclosed rooms. Okay guys, guess what this is. It's a nuclear pasta, correct. But it's our 1000th nuclear pasta. We are completely done with the very last project part of phase 4. So now every focus is on the assembly director systems. Okay, in order to speed up especially the automated wiring production, I changed the setup on this platform here just a little bit since we are now done with our nuclear pasta. We have a production of 400, basically only 375 copper ingots are necessary, but I let it run at 400 so that we are backing up all the constructors and we are producing a total of 750 wire per minute. And we have an additional manufacturer set up for automated wiring with containers providing the also necessary high speed connectors and status. And I let this back up in the meantime with the additional wire in order to provide enough wire for the other manufacturer over there because the conveyor belt for the central storage only brings around 50 I think or even less. Um, something like this wire per minute to our central storage which is not nearly enough in order to provide a fully overclocked manufacturer which requires 187.5. So this is additional input for our project part room. And I will let this run while researching the remaining hard drives and let's see how far we can get with this. But now with the last nuclear pasta being produced we finally have all the 1000 together. So we can take the third box marked as done, which only leaves the assembly director systems and we still are only at 1862. Uh, doesn't get any better. <laughs> okay, we are currently with only six hard drives remaining and it was looking like the last option only gave me two choices so I'm wondering if this will be actually the last hard drive that we are able to research and then we would even have 15 left but yeah I don't know let's see in a few minutes but I wanted to show something else because I was wondering where Enel and Courage are and excuse me sir but what are you doing up here seems like lizard doggos have some issues in experimental as well 
because I was hearing him all the time and yeah he doesn't seem too good but at the same at the same time he doesn't really care so I'm still looking for Inel I haven't found him for hours <laughs> maybe let's see where where he hides at the moment okay research is complete let's check it out yeah it's only one remaining alternate resmp quote unquote but it's pocket inflation so I gladly take this but now we have 15 hard drives left and seems like there's no alternate recipe left but just to make sure I will double check I will start an additional research and if nothing has changed in this game um, the man will give me the hard drive back in case there is no further alternate recipe available so yeah we will see in 10 minutes I guess yep as expected the analysis of hard drive is completed. The no new research is available. Try again later after further progress. Your hard drive has been returned to you. Okay, since we have unlocked all the research but one and finished or reached all milestones, I don't think as of update 8 there is any further progress. Which makes me wonder why we have 15 hard drives left. Maybe because this save file has been started in update 7 and now there's a little bit of a mismatch but I don't actually know. So I will leave these here and we can continue. Okay, many hours later after researching our last hard drive we are finally on our last about 900 missing assembly director systems. The save file is currently getting close to 240 hours and this is what I get for saying that I want to play this game vanilla and not use the advanced game settings or AGS for giving me extra parts. I was considering to give me a loan by AGSing me the assembly director systems that's missing and then letting them produce further automatically and eventually delete the equivalent number in order to pay my debts. But screwed, I'm committed now. At least I can make good use of the time while setting up blueprints for the big project that I'm intending to start once we send the project parts into outer space. And I think the time has come to tell you what I have in mind. So let me grab something that I should have done way earlier. A fresh and well-deserved coffee. Get on the roof and then we sit and talk for just a minute. Alright, so let me bring everything together and give you the big picture that I had in mind when I started this Let's Play series. As you know, this playthrough has only taken place on the far right side of the world map up until this point. Let me actually show. And the main reason for this is because I wanted to keep the left side of the world map clear for the upcoming project. We will go absolutely ham over there very soon, don't worry. Also, there's one specific aspect of the game that we have not dug into yet, and that is nuclear power. But we will dig into it right now. And oh boy, will we dig deep. In total, there are three normal and one impure uranium nodes. If you fully overclock Mark III miners on all of these, the maximum uranium output of this game is 2100 per minute. And by setting up various modular factories and using a specific chain of alternate recipes during the production process, which we have now thanks to our world exploration tour slash hard drive hunt, we will create a flawless supply to continuously power the maximum possible amount of 252 nuclear power plants at once. And this is such a huge setup in order to do so. Besides the 252 nuclear power plants that produce 10 times the amount of uranium waste per minute, we are talking 26 particle accelerators to take care of that, a factory for 60 crystal oscillators, hundreds of refineries, blenders, manufacturers and 630,000 megawatts from the nuclear power only and even more on the side. Now you know what's coming up very soon, so if you want to follow me on the upcoming journey, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything. Not only will we make this separate series on the channel, 
but we will also sprinkle in streams where we will take care about the buildings, cosmetics, maybe transport routes and much more. So feel free to join these and share your ideas, advices or any other input during the process. I will greatly appreciate this. And by the way, the working name for this project is currently Project 252. Pretty inventive, I know. <laughs> but I would love to hear if you have a more creative idea for it. So if you have any suggestions, please put it in the comments. But before we finally start, I want to finish the remaining director systems and prepare some blueprints in the meantime. So let me take care of these really quick and then I'll meet you at the space elevator. One eternity later. It's over. It's finally over. And that was the last thing on the to-do. Now, I once again want to point out that the smarter way would have been to continue playing, let the fully automated production run in the background and just complete phase 4 later, or even set up a dedicated factory for that. But that was not the scope of this Let's Play series and I myself just wanted to get this out of the way before starting Project 252. Nevertheless, only because I wanted to get it done and I did it this way, I would definitely not recommend this playstyle of manually maintenance because that was not so much enjoyable. But now, we have gathered all the necessary project parts. 1000 nuclear pasta. 1000 thermal propulsion rockets. 4000 magnetic field generators. And at last, 4000 assembly director systems. And in order to feed them into the space elevator, I prepared this little something here. Because I didn't want to simply smash all the parts into the elevator in a couple of seconds, but instead once again have this site as a reward. So actually, let me just activate this in the UI again. And connect these two things here. Maybe even delete the to-do list, so that we don't have this one in the way. Damn, this is looking good. And this concludes this series, for now. Of course we intend to continue playing on this exact save file, since the setup was merely the prep work for the next project. And we definitely need all the parts that are gathered here in our central storage. Now, all that's left to do is to say thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, or if you are interested in following along the upcoming project, or maybe both, please consider subscribing and leave a like. It would mean a lot to me. Also, don't forget to comment a better name for the project that lies ahead of us, and I'll just wait here until this is done, send it into outer space and clean up here once everything is clipped and shipped. So I hope to see you again. Did I really miss five magnetic field generators? God damn it. Are they? Gimme, gimme.